Hi, welcome to Vicebro Academy. Myself Shekhar. Recently, one student has asked me, Sir, uh, my teacher is not allowing these calculators in the exam hall as he is saying it is a programmable calculator. So, may you know what is a programming feature in this calculator? That's what is the question. So, in this video, I am going to explain how to write a program in this calculator. Okay. First of all, let me tell you one thing. This is not a programmable calculator. This is a scientific calculator with advanced features. Okay. But yeah, in one sense, you can say, uh, you, can, you can you can write a program in one sense, you can say. So, I'll tell you that in this video. To be more precise, I'll explain how to make use of this button effectively, which most of the students doesn't know about it. Okay. So, pause the video right now and go get your calculator. Okay. So, when I'm doing something, you also practice along with that, you will fall in love with this button. Okay. Because it will make things a lot more easier, this Calci button. Okay. And I think you must have watched the previous videos on how to use the calculator effectively. We have a playlist, the different modes are explained in that. If not watched, go and check the link in the description, check all the videos. Okay. Now, this is the time to know all these three options in this button we have three options right calci solve and this equals okay so it's time to look at these three options first let me explain this calci option this calci mode will be very much helpful by using this you know you can solve the questions you can solve the mathematics in an easy way be it a newton raphson method you know, different iteration techniques are there, right? Newton Raphson method, Gauss method, different methods are there. Uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, power systems or in mathematics or in control systems, in control systems, when you are preparing a frequency response table, okay, frequency response table, uh, if you use this Calci mode, things will be a lot more easier, okay? Let me explain this uh, Calci mode with the help of a simple questions, okay? Yeah, this is a question I'm taking. We'll have to solve this by using a Calci mode. Okay, this is a question. So here, simple one equation is given. X cube plus 5, 5x square plus 2x plus 5. Okay, so once you substitute x is equal to 1 and you find the value, generally what we'll do? 1 cube, all these things we'll write, but I'll tell you a tip. The tip is, in, in place of this x, let me consider, let me take a variable name a okay i'm replacing x with a okay now we have a over here did you see this a okay to get that a i'll have to use this alpha press this and press this so a we got a cube right okay normal where is a cube this is a cube cube is here right so a cube plus 5 into Again, a, a square plus 2 into a into, I don't have to keep it because here this will automatically take into, okay, multiplication, it will take automatically, plus simply 5, that's it, okay. So, I entered whatever the equation we have here, I entered the just the same equation, but in place of uh, x, I kept a. You can keep B, you can keep C, you can keep D, you can keep E, F, you can keep even X here, X is also here, right? Or maybe Y, anything. Okay. I'm just taking A here. Okay. So this one's ex exactly entered here, right? Now, see the beauty. Use this button instead of clicking this, you press this Cal C. Okay. Calculate. Now it is asking, see, it is asking for what is the value of A? Yes, in place of a, it is x, right? So what is the value of a? It's 1. Simply press 1 and press equals. So the result is 13. You enter 13 here. Now, again, you press this Calci. It is asking for a. Enter now 1.3. Press equals. It is giving the value. How much is that? 18.247. Again, you press this Calci, it is asking for A value. If you enter this, press equals 77.23924. Let's take. Okay. Again, you press this Calci, again, you enter 5.5 equals 300. And see how simply 
uh, we're doing it. Are, are we doing anything uh, uh, tough here? It's simple. We're entering the values and we're getting the result. Wow. That's too good, isn't it? So 8.9 and 1, 1. It's 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 8, 1, 9. And 10.5. Oh, that's it. See how quickly we got the result. Did you like it? Yes, if you like it, share it. There will be a lot more things coming up like this. Share this with your friends. Okay, let them fall in love with this calculator, with this technique, so that the solving things will be a lot more easier. Let me quickly go to the next one. You try this. I told you now. I told you in the previous one. You try the second one. Pause the video and try on your own. Let's see how you're going to get that. I hope you must have done that. Let me continue. Let me continue. So in place of X, I'll use A. In place of Y, I'll use B. Okay. Of course, you can make use of X, Y, whatever is available here. But I'm generalizing it. Okay. You can take it as A, B or maybe in place of X, you can take it as B. In case of Y, you can take it as C. It's up to completely your convenience. Okay. I'm taking this one as A, this one as B. First, enter the equation. I'm actually programming. I'm programming the calculator. Okay. Yes. Now, so let's program it. Alpha A, A cube. This is the reason why, you know, uh, people will not allow these programming calculators to the exams. Okay. Oh, sorry. This, this is a P square, right? Oh, oh no. This is, I should, I should enter here B square because Y is B plus 2 into A plus 5 into B. Now I should hit Cal C. It is asking for value of A. Value of A is 1.5. It's asking for value of B. Value of B is 2.6. Result is this. So enter here 53.175. Now again, press this Kelsey, it is asking for the A and B values. A is 2.8. B is 5.3. Bam. That's it. Okay. You can press Kelsey or you can press simply equal to. Kelsey is this, thinking this is make more sense. Okay. B is 7.2. I think now you got it. How to program your calculator. Hmm. 7.7, 7.1, it's 7594. I think you can play with, right? You got it now. Enjoy and have fun and share this. Share this with your friends. Finally, it's 8 and 7808. That's it. Did you love it? Now there is a task for you. You do this task. What is the value of x? I need to find the value of x. When omega value is, when omega value is changing from, suppose when omega value is 0, when omega value is 1, when omega value is 2, 3, 7, 6, you know, 10, 100, or 1000. Okay. So find all these values. Okay, let's see how you're going to get that. Or you can add one more term here to make it things a little more complex. Let's add one more term here. That is omega by square root of 1 plus 2 into omega whole square. You take this also. You try, try this now. Okay, this entire function. This is x. You try this. Okay. You want to change the variable. You change it. Say change this one to something else. You know, you can... You can create your own task and you can enjoy. You can have a good command on this Calci button and make use of it. Okay. That's it. That's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. You, you, you try on your own how to get, how to make use of this solve option. There is something called solve option. You want to explain that briefly? Okay. Let me explain briefly what is the solve mode. Okay. Calci mode is clear. Solve mode. What is the solve mode? Solve mode is suppose if I take a question. What question you want to take? Uh, let me take something we have x square plus x is equal to 2. Okay. This is what I'm having. This equation, this is an equation I'm having. Solving an equation will be, you know, we'll use this solve option to solve an equation. This equation, right? Now I'll have to solve for 
solve for x okay so what value of x will satisfy this equation so enter this equation as it is there a b c d's will not work x and y they will only work so i'll have to enter in terms of x and y only alpha x means x square plus x is equal to don't enter this you have equals here right use that equals now you need to hit this solve. For hitting this solve, shift and this. Solve for x. Yes, we need to solve for x. Now it is asking for certain value. You need to enter a value here because it will, it will solve the value of x by iterative method. Okay, all iterative methods will be based on the initial values. Means initially give, give some guess value. You give a guess as zero. Let me give a guess value. I don't know anything. I'm giving guess as zero. Yes. I have given guess as zero. Means I'm thinking answer for this. If I solve it, answer will be zero. I'm just giving a guess. I know it's wrong. So I entered at zero. But by taking that initial guess, it has solved what is the value of x. See? x value is one. For one, this equation is satisfied. Bingo. Right? So you can edit it, you change it to 3 and solve initial guess, let's give it as 0, same, and you can give some guess, some random guess. If you give the guess value a little close to the actual value, somewhere around the actual value, not close, then the solution will be quicker, okay. If I give some high value here, I'll, I'll give it as 1000, still I'll get the answer, okay, initial guess I'm giving as 1000. Still, I'll get the answer, but answer will take a little more time. Okay. Answer is now 1.302. So, initial guess, it's up to you. You can give any guess. I think you got a point. So, x value is 1 point. If this is 3, then the x value will be 1.302. Okay. That's great. Yeah, yeah. There is one more point here. Students will ask, sir, what is this? L minus R is equal to zero. X value is fine. What is this L and what is this R? L minus R means, L means left hand side. R means right hand side of the equation. Okay. It says because it is an iterative technique, sometimes it may not give the exact value, exact solution it may not give. It may not have so exact solution. Okay. So during that time, it will give something close to this this value close to this close to satisfy this equation so close to means there will be some error that error value is lhs minus rhs some value will be there okay but in this case error is zero means this is an exact solution for this equation if we have some error it says it means what there is an approximate solution for this equation okay i think if you know what is the iterative technique then you will understand you know, uh, this L minus R, you know, error value concept, okay? Nothing to worry. Let's not get into too much of details. You got how to use this point, right? Okay, you, whenever you get a chance, you make use of these options, okay? All these three, this button is having three functions, all these three are clear, okay? And some calculators may not have these equals. I think most of the times you will have it, not, not a problem, okay? That's end of this lecture, this video. Thank you, thank you for joining me. See you in the next video.